We arrived at 7.03. In Houston. Look at that, Dad. It moves. Houston is great already. It's gonna be really hot here. Let's go. Now we gotta wait until our suitcases come. We made it to our hotel. I found a broken elevator. So we're in Houston now, and all I can say is that there's a big difference between the Wisconsin and Houston temperatures. Yeah. They have a pool on the roof, too. We are room 1202. There's 1205. 1204, 1203. 1202 is right here. This is the lucky room. It worked. Look at this. Wow, how is the light? Look at this place. Where's the lights? God, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know where the lights are. Okay, there we go. Two queen size bed and a big TV, and let's take a look at our big view. Because we're on the 12th floor. I'll show you guys in the morning. You can barely see anything right now, but... We made it. Alright, it's morning. We're, it's our first day out of, like, three here. Look at that view from outside. Gotta support the brewers here. Breakfast time. Got a buffet here. All right, guys, we're gonna go to the Nat. We're going to NASA uh, Space Center, I believe. So I'll see you when I get there. Now, where will we be meeting you at? That's as simple as it is. I'm gonna show you where. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Houston Space Center. All right, we're at the Houston Space Museum. We're gonna go on a tram ride. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna go on a tram tour of the Houston Space Center. laboratory modules, storage modules, the solar array joint, and an analog that allow our astronauts to enter and exit for spacewalks. 
That's really cool. It's a replica of the rocket that we launched. Here's another one. It's really tall and skinny, like me. That's nice. One, two, three, four. Five. Five Saturn rocket. Well, those are the biggest wheels I've ever seen. <laughs> this is a very long rocket. It's like the size of a football field. I would so love to ride in one of these things. It's so big. Just look how big it is. It's beautiful. It's big. Wow. It's so big down there and now it becomes narrower. And that's the skinniest part. They used all this to get to the moon. Look at these cool astronaut uniforms. Got a gold one. Wow. We got the NCC. 17017 USS Enterprise. We're in the artifact section of the Houston Space Center. I'm gonna go check out everything. Hope you guys are liking this so far. Look at that. Looks like a doll. It's kind of creepy. Kind of looks like an arcade. I like the whole building. Look here. We got another. All right, so the moon equals construction materials plus energy resources plus life support and knowledge. Right here we have pictures of all of the astronauts. We got Atlantis. We got lots of pins. All those pins. They're probably really collectible. It's really dark in here. Sorry guys, it's so dark in here, I can't really get anything. Stafford. He's in a Superman pose. It's a big rocket. Skylab America There's the guy doing somersaults. <coughs> Large white ring that was on it in chair walls. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
The astronauts are able to lock into the lattice structure opposed to small angles to secure themselves, themselves in place. place while they performed activities in this area. Yes. Skylab, America's first space station. See the triangle on the bottom of his foot? Yeah. Okay, so that they can lock in I see. Hey guys, sorry that video ended so abruptly without any closing. I ran out of memory on my camera. So I hope you enjoyed that two-part special, though. Look who came in.